You're back on Andy Tube, Tube, and this is a series of a full restoration of a Singer Model 404. And this will be part 16. I want to give you an endoscopic view uh, inside the upright of the sewing machine. The part that comes up from the bed and up to the arm and show you what's in there. But before I go in there with a little endoscope, uh, I want to talk about the top end and the bottom. So this was would be where the hand wheel goes. And you see right inside on the uh, horizontal arm shaft, right away we get down to business. This eccentric cam, which goes on the arm shaft, uh, is made to uh, connect up with this feed fort connection. And it kind of looks like a fork up on the top. And uh, I'll, sh I'll show you at the bottom where that ends up and then I'll do the endoscope inside the upright. Uh, right next to it here is the top connection for the uh, feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod. And it's got the rod has a little cap here. You can see that it's screwed in. Just beyond that connecting rod is a metal gear that's on the arm shaft. And hard to see, and below the arm, at a 90 degree angle, is the top gear of the vertical arm shaft. that runs from the top of the machine down to the bottom. See if I can get any more light back in there. Maybe I'll do an endoscope close-up of that too. I don't know if you can see that gear kind of turning back in there. Right back there. So right away from the hand wheel on the shaft we come into all this business that we have to do and all of these three things go down through the vertical of the machine and connect to uh, shafts on the bottom. So let me flip this over and we'll take a look at the end of those three things down on the bottom. Okay, I've got this flipped over and do you remember the feed fork connection, the little fork thing that was on the eccentric gear up there? This is the end connector of it right here. And it is bolted to the feed rock shaft. It comes right over here. And that is bolted to the feed bar, which goes up near the hook and that's what your feed dog is screwed into. So the feed fork connection coming down through the vertical connected to the feed rock shaft and because those feed dogs are what feed the fabric under the needle. Now in the center was the feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod. And the end of it comes right here. And it is bolted to the feed lifting rock shaft, which is also connected to the upper end of the feed bar. And yep, it's called the feed lifting rock shaft because depending on your stitch 
uh, length is how high it lifts that feed bar um, kind of the eccentric pattern circle pattern that it makes whether uh, short rock and short lift for short stitch or a longer rock and a taller lift for a longer stitch and the third thing we had looked at the top was the vertical arm shaft and here's the bottom of it that shaft that little circle right in the center of the gear and this is what the gear up on top looks like too looks just like that and then that gear matches up at 90 degrees with a gear here for the rotating hook shaft it goes all through here to a gear over here another 90 degree angle to a gear and the little circle in that gear is the bottom of the rotary hook shaft so when that hand wheels turning and the upper arm shaft is turning the vertical shaft gear turns which turns the rotary hook shaft and the rotary hook gears which end up making your hook go around and around so that's what all these things are under here the rotary hook gears the rotary hook shaft the end of the vertical arm shaft, the feed lifting rock shaft, and the feed rock shaft, which are both connected to this little feed bar, which your feed dog is screwed to from the top. So, that wasn't so bad. Okay, this, this here is a close-up view of the top of the machine. And I'm just going to turn the arm shaft and get this here. This is the top of the fork of the feed forked connection. And that fork goes around an eccentric cam that's on the arm shaft. So that's the top of the feed fork. This is a top of a bearing for the feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod. That's right next to it. And this is a, the gear that's on the arm shaft that meshes with the top gear of the vertical shaft which I, I can get a better picture later but just to show you what what that looks like when I'm moving the hand wheel area you can see some of that move and here's going in to get a closer picture of that gear so this is the gear here on the uh, arm shaft and this is the gear on top of the vertical um, arm shaft and that's actually that center part right there is actually the end of the shaft and then the gear is uh, fastened to that shaft with two set screws so that's uh, the top end stuff moving there I can see I got a little glob of grease on there I got to clean off too. And then this is the top of the motor mounting tube where the worm gear at the end of the motor shaft sticks up. And if you've got a machine like this, the Series 300, the 4 and the 5, you'll see that. I thought I went around the corner and looked through the yeah I looked through where the hand wheel goes so the hand wheel sits on the shaft right here and that uh, textile light gear would mesh up with the worm gear coming up through that motor mounting shaft right there
So this is the, here we go, a little bit better. This is the connection here from the feed lifting rock shaft to the feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod. It connects that shaft up to the horizontal arm, uh, arm shaft. And then there is the gear on the bottom of the vertical arm shaft. Where I showed you the gear and the shaft up top. This is actually the shaft in the center of this here. And then this is the gear. And it meshes up with the gear over here that is connected um, to the rotating hook drive shaft that runs over to the hook. So there's that drive shaft running there. And then there's, whoop, let me go back a little bit there. Oh, that's not a good, it's not a good picture. Let me try that again here, back it up a little. There. So this gear is on the end of, of that a rotating hook drive shaft. It meshes with this gear at a 90 degree angle that holds the rotary hook shaft. This part right here is the end of the rotary hook shaft. This gear is connected to that shaft by you know by a couple of set screws and that shaft goes up and then it has the rotary hook up above on the bed to it. So that's that connection. I think I went back to go up into the upright here and try and get some shots up there. Yeah, come on, I got all three is what I want to show you. Yeah. Well, let me start with this because it's going to move. When I showed you up top that, top, that forked feed connection, this is underneath that. This is like the bottom of the fork up here. And it's, this is going around that eccentric cam. And this is the side of the feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod going up there to that uh, horizontal arm shaft. And then over in the side, you can't see it yet, is the uh, vertical arm shaft that goes down to the gear and then over to the... Um, rotating hook drive shaft. I think I got a better shot of that. There's that other, yeah, you're starting to see the edge of that shaft now. It's a stainless steel. I'm trying to squeeze the camera in there. There we go, it's turning a little bit. So this is the shaft bearing. Right up here is, is underneath that uh, gear on the top the top of the vertical arm shaft and the gear. And then this gear is running down to the bottom of the machine and that is the vertical arm shaft. You see it's that polished metal like the horizontal arm shaft up above. Let's see how much of that I got. I got turning a little bit. Not too much. It's coming down. So there's a better shot of all three of them. The vertical arm shaft, the feed lifting rock shaft connecting rod, and then the feed forked connection. All going up here to the horizontal arm shaft. That big Side shaft. The, what I call top. the motor mounting tube where that uh, PA motor, the, the upright motor, slides into this tube so that the worm gear can go up top to the Textilite gear. I'm trying to show you my finger. I think I tur turned on some light there, yeah, to show you that's up at the top of the machine. Yeah. Okay, this is a view through the um, opening where you install the, the feed regulator and then you put the plate here 
And I wanted to show you this, and I'll put the endoscope in there a little bit. This is the feed regulator slide block that the regulator has to slide onto. And that's what makes the installation of the feed regulator uh, tricky because that thing just spins around. Let's jump in there a little bit and I'll get a little closer. Now I'm turning the hand wheel, the arm shaft up there to show how that's uh, spinning and then I'm going to stick this uh, in the side here to show you how easy that thing spins. It's just on a hinge screw and it's uh, kind of tricky to uh, get the regulator back on there. So while I had the endoscope and I can get that close I just wanted to show you that. Now because I can get so close with this uh, endoscope camera while I had it I thought I'd go up into the face here and do a close-up of that um, tension releasing lever. So this is the end of the lever right here where it's pushing on the tension le uh, releasing lever spring. That spring is forcing the lever away from the little tension pin that's in the tension unit on the front. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, take your Dramamine for this. It's so hard to hold those endoscope cameras. But there's the pin. A little, did I get a close-up of that? Yeah, there's the pin coming through, the releasing pin, and the arm of that tension releasing lever and then I just wanted to I mentioned in the video about that how that was fastened and there is the hinge screw tension releasing lever hinge screw that's behind the needle bar bushing and that's what holds the tension releasing lever to the body to the back of the face of the machine there then I think I went down here and did a little, oh there's the needle bar crank up there. And then I went down and I think I got some of the hook, a close up of the hook turning, yeah. So let me see that there. So this is where the feed dog mounts. That's, that's uh, on the end of the feed bar underneath. And then I think I got a close up of the actual hook of the rotary hook here. Yeah. So there's the where it's ground out and fastened to a point. That's the actual point that grabs the thread from the needle and carries it in this slot around to wrap it around the, the bobbin thread when you're forming the stitch. Okay, that's going to uh, wrap up part 16 and uh, we're ready to start reassembly installing stuff and we're going to put the feed regulator inside and all the connections and we're going to do that first I think so that'll be the next video hope you come back and uh, take a look at that watch me struggle trying to get that feed regulator on that little loose slide block in there. <laughs> See you next time and thanks for watching. Take care.